everyone and welcome to this new current household update video and as usual a lot has happened since the last time and right now I'm actually playing with the fourth and fifth generation with this family and I don't think I've been playing with the family for so long in a very very long time so I'm really really excited to be sharing with you today this video and I think this is the 10th update for this family which is crazy but anyway let's get into it so I think in the last update video we were uh, celebrating Bailey's birthday and she became an adult and at the time I was still working on the city native aspiration and I was just waiting for the romance festival to come in town and at the time Bailey she was in between two romantic interests she was hesitating between Dylan her neighbor who was also spending a lot of time with her and her son Caleb and things were going pretty well with him but she was also spent not really spending a lot of time with Darius but they were on the phone quite often because Darius he was living in Newcrest and for me this is probably why they weren't seeing together quite often but also he was working as a writer so he had a lot on his plate already but they were spending a lot of time on the phone they were calling each other quite often and she was thinking about both those guys and she couldn't choose so what I thought was that when the romance festival would come in town I would have her choose the one who would call her to go and hang out at the romance festival so in a way the one she would kiss it took like two weeks for the romance festival to come in town it, it took ages for it to come but when the romance festival was finally in town I waited like a couple hours in the sims to see who would call her and I really thought that it would have been Dylan because they were spending so much time together but actually it was Darius who called her and I feel like Bailey, you know, she had known Darius for years. They, she was a teen when she first met him. I feel like she always had a strong attraction to him, but nothing ever happened between the two. And when he invited her to the Romans Festival, it's like, you know, he, he finally feel, felt brave enough to invite her out. And this is where they shared their first kiss and where they decided to finally start a relationship together. So when Bailey came back home the next day, she decided to cool things off with Dylan and he didn't he wasn't upset at all because Dylan he was actually younger than she was and I feel like he wasn't ready to be a father figure to Caleb. So he didn't take that bad and he you know they went on with their lives and things were okay. And after maybe a couple a couple days after that, I asked Darius or Bailey actually asked Darius to move in with her. And when that happened, Caleb entered a clingy phase and I thought the parent he wanted to be closer to would be Bailey. And by the way, this was actually the first time that I saw this phase, so I didn't know how it worked. And actually, Caleb wanted to be close to his father, Jean-Francois. And that was so surprising because this happened right at the, the very, very same day when Darius moved into the house. And I thought that it was maybe because Caleb was maybe hoping deep inside him that his parents would go back together or get back together rather. But having Darius move in with his mom was, you know, a pretty serious step in his mother's life. And so this is when he realized that his parents would never get back together. So he wanted to spend a lot of time with his dad. And so I had him, <clears throat> sorry, I had him spend... A lot of time with his father, they went play, playing basketball together, he went to spend the weekend with his dad, uh, they worked on a school project together, and that made Caleb really happy, because when his father wasn't around, he was stressed out. And when Darius actually moved, moved in with Bailey and Caleb, he brought with him a lot of money, and that allowed the family to finally move out from the apartments they had been living in for years, and I had them moved into the 121 Hakim House apartment, which I built and I will leave a link in the description if you're interested to check out this video. And I actually built this apartment with Bailey and Caleb in mind. But they didn't have enough money to move in, but with Darius moving in, it was possible, so the family moved finally into, into this apartment, which was really nice. And so at the time, I was on the last milestone with Bailey's aspiration, and all she needed to do was to go to GeekCon and win a contest over there. She also needed to have an apartment worth more than 100,000 simoleons and reach the level 10 of the singing scale. So we still had a little bit to work on and I was waiting for GeekCon to come in town for her to go and play there. But since she was a geek and she was playing a lot of video games, I thought it would have been easy. And I think a couple days after they moved into this apartment, it was Caleb's birthday. So of course I've invited the entire family and Caleb aged up to a teen. So when he was a child, I gave him the hot-headed trait 
and as a teen I gave him the athletic trait and the jungle explorer aspiration. Jungle Adventure is one of my favorite game pack in The Sims 4 and I just wanted to play again with it, so this is why I gave him this aspiration. And a few days after that, GeekCon finally came in town and I had Bailey go to GeekCon and she won one of the contests over there, which was for me a first in my Sims game, so I was really excited about this. And when Caleb actually went to his first day in high school, I of course had him meet some teens over there and he met a young woman whose name is Annabelle. And turns out that Annabelle was also his neighbor, so they were spending a lot of time together, they became best friends, and honestly, their relationship just skyrocketed and it went so fast, they became friends so easily. And they were spending so much time together that they actually started flirting with one another, and soon after that, they became a couple. They were dating each other, and that was really cute. Then time went by and I was still working on Bailey's aspiration, but I also wanted to start working on Caleb's aspiration, so I had the entire family, so Bailey, Darius and Caleb, go to Salvadorada together, so they rented a villa, but even though I saw, of course, Caleb going and exploring the jungle, I didn't think that Bailey would have left her son, her teenage son, going alone to the jungle, so she went with him to the marketplace, while Darius just spent the, the entire weekend in the villa working on his books and his writing because Darius, he was a writer as I said, and his aspiration was to be a best-selling author, so, she, so he needed to, to write a lot of books. And so when Bailey and Caleb went to the marketplace uh, to buy some supplies for their adventure, Caleb met a young woman whose name was Edith. And once again, their relationship just skyrocketed and it w just went so fast, they became friends so fast. And I started to think that maybe Caleb would be interested to have a relationship with a woman from Salvadorada. But I didn't see Caleb as being the kind of guy to cheat on his girlfriend, so even though he just met Edith, he was started to think that maybe he wasn't thinking of spending the rest of his life with Annabelle and maybe he would just have some experimentation with other people and meet other person and you know Annabelle was his first love so he didn't know at the time he was just thinking over that and what he was really focused on when he first went to Salvadorada was to find the lost temple of the Omiscan civilization and so of course he wanted to go and explore the jungle and he was of course followed by his mother and the funny thing was, and I honestly had so much fun during this trip, Bailey was having so much fun exploring the jungle that she was inspired, playful, and she had all of the really great um, emotions that you can have in the game, while Caleb, he was struggling, he was uncomfortable the entire time. He wanted to be the one opening all of the portal and he was always, you know, he got hurt on his finger because he hurt himself on some thorns. And yeah, he was just struggling, but he was so focused on finding this temple that he, he was having fun like that, you know, even though he was struggling. And I was actually imagining Bailey telling him, look at that, Caleb, look and enjoy this beautiful greenery, the wild nature taking over this lost civilization, look at this beautiful view. And I was also imagining Caleb telling his mother, oh, but look, we're, we're so close to the temple, we should go there, we must go there. And so... <laughs> They were really, this was a really nice trip, honestly, and Bailey, she helped her son in a way realizing his dream and making his dream come true to finding the new, the, the temple and all of that kind of stuff, but they had such a great bonding moment through this entire adventure. And after they had found the, the temple, I had them go back to the villa and honestly this trip was just amazing because when we came back, and I have no idea why, but Darius was naked. He was writing on the computer naked. When I left, he wasn't naked, and we arrived, he was naked. So I thought maybe he just wanted to enjoy his free time by being entirely free and in the nude. And <laughs> this was really so, so funny to have him being entirely naked during the during the travel. So then the family came back to, self, to San Maishuno. A couple days after that, it was Caleb's birthday, and before that, I thought, you know, he had been thinking a lot about Edith and his relationship with Annabelle and he didn't feel ready to really commit to Annabelle to, to strongly, you know, really start a full-on relationship and settle down with her right away. He wanted to enjoy his youth by traveling back and forth from San Maishinu to Salvadorada and maybe, you know, he didn't know what the future was made of, so he didn't want to have to take the risk, the risk to cheat on her, so he 
asked her to stage as friends and she actually took that fairly well and I thought maybe she was on the same page as, as he was. Maybe she wanted to experiment as well on her on her side and just have some fun during her young years and yeah. So they stayed really close friends. I mean, they, they were and they still are best friends. So their relationship is still really strong. And so when Caleb aged up to a young adult, of course, his father was there again. Uh, I gave him the romantic trait. And I see Caleb being quite different from his mother because Bailey, she's emotionally really independent. She doesn't need to have anyone else around her to feel great. While I thought that Caleb would want one day to have someone he could share his life with and have a family as well. And even though it wasn't his father's fault that he wasn't there, it was just how life was. I thought that Caleb would want to be there for his children all the time, be a full-time dad basically. And this is what I was thinking by giving him the romantic trait. In a way, he was a hopeless romantic. But he was still young and he wanted to experiment a bit more, so... Of course, I sent him back to Salvador a couple times and he started a relationship with Edith. And at the time, I was still working on Bailey's aspiration. And after a couple of travel to Salvador when Caleb came back home after one of his travel to Salvador the goal of Bailey to have an apartment worth a hundred thousand simoleons was oops, a thousand simoleons was accomplished. So I was really pleased by that because I was actually struggling with that. And then all she needed to do was to reach the level 10 of the singing skill, so I had her work on that while I was also working on Caleb's aspiration. So that was a time with a lot of back and forth. And when Caleb was in San Maishuno, he actually wanted for his mother to meet Edith. But I didn't see Bailey going back to Salvadorada for that and I wanted to invite Edith over. But the game didn't allow me to invite her over, so that's when I started to think that maybe since Edith, she was living in Salvadorada with her family, maybe she didn't want to leave them and she wanted to stay with them. And it was pretty much the same thing on Caleb's side. He didn't want to leave San Maishino forever and he actually didn't see himself settling down in Salvadorada. He was thinking maybe one of the non-vacation world where he could stay with his family and start a family in. And of course, he didn't see himself leaving his mother and father, so this started to be an issue for Caleb. So when he went back to Salvadorada, he decided to cool things off with Edith and he stopped their relationship, which actually made Edith really upset. And I'm sure that Caleb was really sad as well, but he knew why he did that. And I'm sure he was probably having some regrets and he was probably wondering where could have gone their relationship if things were different. And so I left him in Salvadorada for a couple of days and I went back to Bailey because she was so close to completing her aspiration and she was also so close to becoming an elder that I just wanted to spend as, mi as much time as possible with her. And I was saying that she was having a lot of whims to have pet toys, pet beds, uh, a litter box and a scratching post that I thought, I think Bailey wants to adopt a cat. And you know me, I'm a cat person, I can't choose between a couple of cats. So the family adopted two cats. Turtle, who was a girl, and Zippo, who was a black cat, he was actually a Bombay cat. And his name, Zippo, is actually the same name we have for a lighter that we used to usually light up cigarettes in France. I don't know if this is the same thing in other countries, but I thought it was kind of funny that, you know, a name like that was randomly created in The Sims? That was so weird, so this is actually why I decided to adopt this cat. And I actually love black cats. I do have one in real life, so yeah, I needed to have a black cat in my game. And so this is how the family ended up having two cats. And this has been... It had been at the time a really long time since I had pens, pets in my game, so it was really cool. And then it was time for Bailey to finally age up to an, el an elder, and that was a really sad time. And so for her birthday, of course, I organized a party and I invited the entire family and I had her also invite Jean-Francois because even though they weren't together and they had no romantic relationship whatsoever anymore, they were still really cl close friends. I mean, they had a son together. And she also invited Annabelle because she had a really, really great relationship with her. Caleb was there and he was actually talking to Annabelle a bit more and I actually didn't control them and they started flirting with one another. And a couple days after Bailey's birthday, Annabelle invited Caleb to a romantic dinner, or actually maybe more a friendly dinner, who turned out to be a romantic dinner, 
Probably because they were remembering together how things were when they were together. And I'm sure that Annabelle experienced a few things, a few fling with other people, and maybe just things didn't work out for some reason. And they were just remembering how things were between them, how easy and simple it was. And they ended up kissing, and the next day they were back together. And Caleb, he was really close to complete his aspiration and also really close to becoming an adult and I felt like it was time for him to finally move out from his mother's house. And this was actually a really sad time for me because I knew that I wouldn't I wouldn't go back to play with Bailey because I wanted in a way to start from scratch with, with Caleb. And even though I've never cheated with this family, every single simulians they had, they earned it. I cheated a little bit with Caleb because I wanted for him to move into the simple start house that I've built once again, I will leave a link in the description if you're interested to go and check out this video. And I wanted for him to go and live there with Annabelle. But because when you start off with a sim, the sim has only 20,000 simoleons or so, I decided to move out Caleb and then move out Annabelle from her household and then merged the two together. And this is how they ended up having a bit more than 40,000 simoleons. And I think that has to do with the fact that I had Caleb move out with the cats. And even though the cats were supposed to be Bailey's cats, I thought Caleb is going to live in a house and Bailey, she wanted for her cats to be happy. And instead of living in a close environment in the apartment, maybe she would have thought the cat would have been happier living with Caleb with a garden, a house and more space than living in an apartment. And so Caleb and uh, Annabelle moved together into this house and they went, maybe a couple days after that, onto a vacation to Salvadorada. And this is when Caleb actually completed his aspiration. And as I said, I wanted for Caleb to be a father at some point and I thought he wanted to be a father as well and he was now settling down with, with Annabelle and he, he was started to think of having a family. So when they came back home, I had them try for a baby and they ended up having twins. They had Dean and they had Devon. So now we are on the D generation, which is for me the fifth generation, which is really exciting. And I have to say that this family is definitely really fertile because Caleb's great grandmother, Azur, she had triplets. Then his great uncle, Andrew, had triplets as well. His mother, with just a one night stand, had Caleb, and Caleb now has twins. So, this is definitely a really fertile family. <laughs> when the twins were born, actually, Turtle had given birth to four kittens because, you know, she just she didn't run away, but she went away for a little while and then she came back and she had three, tri tri bleep, three kittens at first and then she had another kitten. But I had uh, Annabelle gave up for adoption a couple of kittens who had a really bad personality and I just couldn't take care of so many cats. So yeah, we had so many kittens, but apparently this was a glitch because Turtle, she was supposed to be neutered, but yet again she was having, she was popping up kittens all the time. And apparently now this is fixed with the new update, hopefully, I'm really crossing my, my fingers there because I'm just having that all the time. So we had two new kittens, we had Noodle and then we had Sushi. And yeah, I'm really into the food with the cat's name for, for some reason. And then at some point, of course, Bailey passed away, Barbara had passed away as well, Isabella as well, Christina, she's now a young adult, maybe an adult soon enough, I don't know. I haven't really following Christina that much. And Darius also passed away, Jean-Francois passed away as well, he actually passed away in their garden. And then Turtle and Zippo passed away the same day, like with two minutes apart. Then on a most happier note, uh, more happier note I should say, the twins aged up to children. So Dean, I gave him the artistic prodigy aspiration and he's also self-assured. And Devon, I gave him the squeamish trait and he has the whiskey aspiration. And I feel like Dean, he's more outgoing than his brother is, and I feel like his brother, Devon, is really, really awkward. <laughs> but when the twins aged up to children, the house they were living in was definitely too small for them, so I decided to move them out, and I built a really simple house for them. I didn't make a speed build for this house, though, because it was so simple, and I don't know, I didn't feel the need to make a speed build for this house, and honestly, I had nothing that interested to say about the house that... I didn't make a speed build of it, but I shared it on the gallery anyway, and I will leave a link in the, in the description if you're interested to download this house for yourself. 
But I'm gonna do a house tour as soon as I jump into the game, because right now I'm just doing a quick voiceover so that it's easier for me to talk about everything. And I'm actually recording this before Seasons comes out. So yeah, as soon as we jump into the game, I'm going to give you a house tour and everything. And so yeah, the family moved into this house. Uh, it was bigger because this way the twins could have their own bedrooms. There was more space for the family to move around. The bathroom was also bigger and yeah, it was better for the family to live in here. And also something that I forgot to talk about was the fact that uh, Caleb, after he completed his aspiration, I didn't see him having a 9 to 5 job. In this way, he was kind of like his mother because even though Bailey, she was uh, working as a in the social media career, she was always working from home, so in a way she was self-employed, she didn't really have a boss or anything, and I didn't see Caleb having a boss as well. So what I thought would be great for him would be to have a retail store where he could sell all of the artifacts that he was finding and also the artifacts that he was receiving from uh, the Simsmopolitan Museum, I think this is the name, I'm always wrong, but anyway. Uh, because he actually reached the level 10 of the archaeology skill and when you do that you actually receive from time to time artifacts to authenticate and I have him sell all of those artifacts in his retail store and this is how he's making money and this is also how the family was able to afford their new house. So he has this retail store and he works there. Uh, Annabelle, she works as a doctor and I follow him, follow her, sorry, from time to time into work. And yeah, so the family moved into this new house and uh, they also adopted a dog, Shiloh, who I thought would have been a big dog, but turns out this is a small dog, but I'm okay, you know, we love Sh Shiloh. Uh, it's a mixed breed. Sh she or he, I don't even remember, is really nice. <laughs> And more recently, Caleb and Annabelle decided that they wanted to have another child. So right now the family is expecting another baby to come. And because I've been having my, and during my current household, pretty much always birthdays happening, I decided that for this one I would have done something different. So today we're going to have a birth, the birth of the new baby for the D generation. And I'm really excited. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that has happened, so now let me jump into the game and show you the house and all of the sims in this family. Here we are in the game and there is a thunderstorm going on. This is the first time that I'm launching the game since I've installed Seasons in my game. I actually choose Summer to start off with with this family and oh my god, there is a thunderstorm you guys. This is the first time that I'm seeing this. This is awesome. Oh my god, so cool. Oh, anyway, so... Oh my god! Apparently we can have some rocks when the, the thunders just hit the ground like that. Uh, but anyway, this is the house that I built for them. Uh, unfortunately, the game is quite dark because of the thunderstorm. But anyway, we can see what, what's going on. And apparently Devon. So this is Devon. This is Dean. Both of them are in grade school. Uh, Caleb is angry because he's hot-headed and I should have Annabelle actually go inside and this is the best time for me to show you the house quickly. So let's me go this way. There we go. So yeah, this is a really basic house. This is the master bedroom. This is the living room, uh, dining room with the kitchen. You have a corridor here that leads you to Dean's bedroom and Devon's bedroom. There is also the main bathroom. There is a laundry room out here. Oh my god, I think we... We had some clothes drying outside. Well then, <laughs> never mind. Here, uh, this is the baby's bedroom. Uh, this used to be actually the main bathroom, but uh, not the main bathroom, the master bathroom. But yeah, we needed another bedroom, so I thought this would be better. Why is there a puddle here? Let's go and mop this up. I guess this was Shiloh. So this is Shiloh. So Shiloh was apparently really afraid. Uh, this is uh, Sushi who's running away. Actually, both the cats are sad and they've been sad for quite some time and apparently Noodle is hiding under the bed. This is so cool. Oh, we're receiving a call. It looked like... A. Okay, so during free time, Dean drew an appropriate piece of artwork. How surprising. And showed, up, showed it to classmates. It caused lots of giggling and disrupt the rest of the school day. We encourage creativity. Take the drawing and punish him. Well, no, we encourage creativity, that's fine. And Dean actually has uh, the creative aspiration, which is, for me, really not surprising that he did that. Uh, but anyway, I actually wanted to play a little bit before going to... Uh, how is it called? The, the hospital and have the baby. 
because Annabelle, she's right now in her third trimester and we're waiting for the baby to be born. And I also wanted to show you guys, D uh, not Dean, but Caleb's retail store, because as I said, he has a retail store which is called Caleb's Emporium. I wasn't really imaginative with the name, but it's raining! Oh my god! It's so cool. And this is always disgusting. Uh, no, not put in inventory, but empty the litter storage, but it's... As you can see, it's still stinky when... See, it's still stinky and I don't know why. But anyway, it's... Oh my god, look at the lightning, it's amazing. So it's really dark right now. And I think everyone is quite stressed out because of the rain. So what is this moodlet? Scared of thunderstorms from a thunderstorm outside. Thunder, lightning and rain. Oh my, thankfully it is safe indoors. Yep. But she was outdoors, so she... Yeah, she was uncomfortably wet. That's fine. So apparently if we go into diff different towns, uh, the weather is different. So I would like to go maybe to Caleb's Emporium and see how it is. So we are in Magnolia Promenade and as you can see it's sunny so the weather is warm and partly cloudy. There is no thunderstorm in here. Uh, the family by the way lives in Willow Creek so... Yeah in Willow Creek apparently there is a thunderstorm while here it's really beautiful and really nice. Look at that. So it's basically the same type of world that we've known for four years. But that's fine. I don't know if they have any moodlets or anything. No they don't have anything. They seem so excited for some reason. So what I'm gonna do actually is just play through the day and hopefully Annabelle is gonna go into labor soon. Because I don't want for this video to be too long, I'm just going to resume once she, she has the baby. Alright, it's later in the day and as you can see the thunderstorm is still going on and finally Annabelle went into labor. So both the boys came back home. Uh, they brought with them uh, some school project that the family worked on. Uh, I would like for you though to go use the bathrooms. And I had also Caleb authenticate... Uh, oh, my back artifacts. Oh, so this is one that he received through the Simpson Apologian or something. So yeah, I had him authenticate a lot of artifacts so that we could sell them into his... Uh, his retail store, which I realized later when we came back home. I forgot to show you the exterior, but you you got the gist of it This is just a cube with a roof upon it, and that's it But yeah, uh, it's still it's still quite awful outside But anyway, it's time for Annabelle to have her baby. So let's go have baby at hospital Of course, we are going to join her. The boys are going to be fine. Where is Caleb? He's here So let's go to the hospital and see if there is something if the weather is different over there we just arrived at the hospital and it's not raining over here, but it's cool and it's sunny. S oh, actually the lightning is a little bit different than we're used to. This is really cool. But yeah, it's basically the same type of lightning that we've had since the beginning of the game. Let's have you... or actually she just changed, so maybe she's going. Yes, she's going. So Caleb, I would like for you to follow your girlfriend, so let's go. She's going in here, so let's go here, and I actually wrote down a couple of names. Uh, I actually checked with the MC Command Center. It's supposed to be a baby girl. I didn't change anything. She was supposed to have a baby girl, which I would like, because I've just been having boys, even with my kittens, with the, with the puppies and everything. I just keep having boys all the time. So it would be nice for once to have a baby girl and with the MC Command Center apparently this is a baby girl. If it's a boy that means there there that means that there's a glitch somewhere and hopefully there isn't. I really would like to have a baby girl. And it's a baby girl! Oh so cool! I think this is the first girl that I've had in a very, very long time without influencing the gender of the baby, so I'm so happy. So the name that I was thinking about, of course, just going to be called Lemon Color. Of course, Lemon Color. So the name I had was Dakota. Because of course we are with the D generation. And there we go, Dakota, Dakota Lemon Color. This is so cool. There she is. And Annabelle is in her exploration gear. <laughs> uh, I'm actually really happy to finally have had a girl. But yeah, we have quite a big family right now, as you can see. 
So this is the entire family tree with the view of Dean. So here is Azur and this is Jeremiah. These were the founders of this family. Then we had Aquine, Aquine who has also two brothers that were triplets. So the, there was Aiden, Andrew. Andrew, he had four children with, I don't remember her name, Juliet Villeneuve. So they had Ben, Basil, uh, Blake and Brody. Brody was had also a child. And as you can see, these guys, they they just popped up baby all the time. Uh, and for Aiden, Aiden he was married to, what was his name, Bradley. And they had Boston together, who had three children. And this is the full-on family tree, this is so huge. But if we go back to Aquini, Aquini she had Barbara who was married to, uh, where is she, Isabella over here, so everyone is dead, this is really sad. And together they had Christina, and Christina she's just, she was a really awful toddler to play with, and I think she turned out to be insane, or erratic rather. And then there was Bailey, Bailey who had Caleb with Jean-Francois, and basically they were just in one night stand and that was it they had Caleb together and Caleb now has three children we have Devin, Dean and Dakota this is so cool this is such a nice family tree I'm so happy with this family so this is the fifth generation and finally in one of my current household we've done something different than celebrating a birthday we had just a birth basically a birth day <laughs> that wasn't funny I'm so sorry but anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is end this part here, you guys. Or not this part, but this update video, basically. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, everyone.